All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to do another shop tour video. So we are off to Ermston Aquatics, which is in Ermston in the northwest of England, not far from Manchester, right next to it, actually. And um, it's a phenomenal shop. So if you've been watching my channel for a long time and you've seen those white jewel tanks that I've got, I got them all from there. So I bought three over a period of time. They delivered them. They brought them in the house and everything. So the customer service was absolutely brilliant. I bought them off the guy that took over the shop a couple of years ago, I think it was now, and he has transformed this shop into something special. The marine section is phenomenal. Now, I didn't get any footage on the marine section, but if you're a marine keeper, you need to get over there and check it out because it's phenomenal. And he's absolutely grown the tropical area as well. And we've got some fantastic American cichlids in there. So I thought, you know what, while I was there, I'll do a tour and I'll show you just how good this shop is. So let's go and check Herms and Aquatics out. Okay, so the growth of this shop, like I said, over the last few years has been phenomenal. Now, I would say probably tripled the amount of tanks that are in this shop than what it used to be. And when I did used to go back in, like before COVID, I would say, it was always just your little live bearers and your community fish. You never saw anything like big American cichlids really or other pretty rare fish but on this visit today there's quite a lot of stuff in here that you wouldn't necessarily find in your local fish shop so it was a bit of Aladdin's cave and he's done it all up he spent a lot of money on it and it's a fantastic shop so really excited to bring you this fish room tour guys I'm not going to lie to you so we'll go through the stock that was in the tank uh, the shop now this is a discus tank and these discus are phenomenal but what I was really, really taken aback by was these two green phantoms, so these L200. They probably up there with the biggest L200s that I've ever seen. They were phenomenal. Big, chunky green phantoms. Honestly, they, they were stunning, and there was two of them in the tank. And again, it's not something you would see in your local fish shop necessarily. I mean, pair aquatics, you would see them there, but not everyday fish shops get big, phantoms in like this so and obviously the, the discus goes without saying they're beautiful as well lovely colored uh, group of discus there as well so that was the first tank i actually walked into a little geophagus as well in there and then we i spotted this wild caught severum um i think it's a liberifer severum they had it down as a green severum but i think it might be i thought it's either a wild green or a wild liberifer um it's in a tank full of torpedo bards barbs and some clown loach um, and this is Dorking Barbs as well. Check out the size of this flag tail. This was for sale. And then there was this group of Geophagus redheads. These absolutely had me. Um, and there was two in there that, have you seen the middle? There's a bit of a pit. There was two in there that were pairing off. I spent a lot of time watching these because this tank was stunning. It had like the big flag tail, the Geophagus redheads, the wood catfish. Uh, and it had a lima shovel nose catfish now obviously when you see lima shovel nose cats in shops they're usually pretty small but this one was absolutely massive it was i would say it was over 10 inches and it was a beauty just check it out absolutely stunning this tank was phenomenal it I, honestly the fish in this tank had me big time that group of geophagus redhead was stunning in particular and i love a flag tail obviously then there was this is your this is your um, tetras, your barbs. It's like a section full of tetras, a section full of barbs, and I'm just trying to get through as many of the tanks as I can. Obviously, when I'm filming these these in the shops, if there's people in the shop, I've got to stay out of the way. I don't want to be getting in people's ways, if that makes sense. So, I've got to film where I can film, and I don't always show you the other stuff besides the American cichlids in the shop. So, I thought, you know what, I need to start doing that because these people who are interested in your barbs, your tetras, uh, your live bearers, that kind of thing. But I'll show you the live bearers in a mo because uh, the, the shop's sectioned into two parts, um, and there were some big tinfoil barbs, albino tinfoil barbs, I think they were. Then you've got the good old Oscar. You're always going to see Oscars in a fish shop, aren't you? Every fish shop in the UK has Oscars in. I'd be very surprised if you can find me a shop that doesn't have Oscars in. Then there's these little angels. Um, I don't know what the other fish that, that are in there with them, to be honest with you. Some more te oh, Congo Tetras. Yeah, of course it's Congo Tetras. Um, and then them, they were nice Oscars as well. Only small, but obviously you know these guys grow pretty big. And then this is the displaced tank that's right in the middle of the room. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I mean, there's a ray in there, you know, there's Geophagus in there, there's uh, Akaras in there, Echoli, Festivum, 
there's a big flag tail, uh, archer fish. This was a beautiful setup fit. Uh, this, they've scaped it and everything and they've spent some time on this tank. It was a big, big tank, which I think in this video, you never get to show the sheer size of these things. Um, and that flag tail, again, that was the second flag tail in that shop. I don't think the fish in this set tank are for sale. There was no prices on it, so I'm not sure. But I suppose like anything, you know, who's running a business so it may it may be for sale i'm not sure but absolutely stunning tank beautiful beautiful tank and really like in the middle when you walk down it's right in the middle as well check out that flag tail some big denison barbs as well blue acaras there, there was just an array of different fish in here um they've obviously got some really nice re uh, geophagus redheads because they've got a load in this tank and that tank i showed you before and just check that echolite the echolite is stunning isn't it but yeah this is phenomenal and I, wouldn't we all love a tank like this in our houses that it would look brilliant people would love it if they come round and done a really good job of escape on it as well and it's not often you see tanks like this in shops so it's always nice when you walk in a shop and you see a tank a show kind of tank there was this discus tank there was a couple of discus tanks and i'll show you the other one in a minute um, again being scaped been set up these peru angel fish so these were pretty cheap as well and they were a decent size so i call them peru they, they call them peruvian autumns but they're just a terephyllum uh, scalari so th that's all they are and these big big bronze catfish so s s some stuff in there that were bigger than the size that you're going to see them in the shops on a regular basis but those angels were special they were this, they were only two for 40 quid as well which at that size i think is phenomenal now look at the size of that stir by i don't think i've ever seen a stir by that big guys and there was a couple in there in particular that one at the front was huge but i think there's about two or three big ones like that in there as well you know i should have bought them in hindsight and when watching this video back now i should have bought them but there was some nice corridors in there and here's your live bears your mollies your platties your guppies you know there's a couple of rows of these some good colour so in, what I love about live berries is they're always going to stand out with the colour aren't they some stunning stunning yellows oranges reds greens whatever you colour you name that they're there it's beautiful that white colour that yellow orange it's just dead nice um, I don't keep them myself obviously but I'm, I am always drawn to them when I go into a shop beautiful stunning colours and plenty of them as well so plenty of choice it was very well stocked in that shop to, uh, when I went. And this is that other discus tank. So again, look at that. They take the time out. They take the time out with these tanks. That's Joe showing. That's Joe in the picture. Well, you'll see in a minute with, with Thomas. That's my grandson, Thomas. Um, he loves going around looking at the fish. Although he did need a wee, so we had to go. But yeah, nice discus tank, that. Stunning, stunning tank. I am impressed with the way they've done their tanks, their show tanks, to be honest. And then some more bits and bobs, there is some more clown loach, some garamis, uh, rams, some, some rams in there as well. Again, a heavily stocked tank. Every tank was stocked. So, you know what, you've got good choice. And then all of them, I came across these red spotted severums. These were particularly nice. And some acaras, I think they just blue acaras that I can see in there. And more clown loach, some serpa tetras, I think they are on the right. But they were nice, those red spotted severums couple of nice severums in there today to be honest when i say today it was about four days ago when i went so yeah and then some um more angels i think that's a little is that a little tsn i didn't know it's that until i did this video i think it's a small tsn that uh tiger shovel nose then keyhole cichlids more geophagus some big neon tetra a very nice shop let's wrap it up now guys Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that, and I'm sure you'll agree it's an amazing fish shop. Um, like I said, it's in Ermston in the northwest of England, so if you're in the area, go and check it out. It's right next to the Trafford Centre, for those of you that know what I'm talking about, but it is phenomenal, and fair play and a big shout to, to the change in that shop. It is brilliant. Anyway, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the support you give me, all the subscriptions, the shares, the likes, the comments, whatever it is, it helps me. Even the thumbs down help me, so you do what you've got to do, but do you know what? I appreciate it so thank you very much if you're not subscribed to the channel guys please consider subscribing ping the uh, press the subscribe button and ping the bell get it the right way around anyway guys that's me i'm going to see you on the next one